The question is, why does self-care and self-love feel selfish for some people? That's because the way that we're raised, a lot of times we're raised, and actually in some cultures and different races of people, you're raised to take care of others before you take care of yourself. We're never taught how to, of course, love ourselves. We're never taught how to give ourselves self-care, I guess I put it that way. You see your mom, your dad, your grandmother, everybody else taking care of everybody else. And you, you're you thinking, of course, like I said, that's indirect and directly how you're supposed to live your life as well. A lot of times we become yes people. I was a yes girl, taking everybody to the store, doing all these kind of things, taking care of this child, taking care of this thing, doing all these things, saying yes to everybody else, but I left myself behind. Once I started healing, once I started trying to love myself and figuring out what that meant for me, once I started journaling, because that's what really helped me, and just to process the things that I was going through and had been through and all the yes girl stuff and me thinking that because I say no, that somebody's going to um, not love me anymore, that kind of thing. Like I said, I had to realize that in order for me to, of course, not be the yes girl anymore, I had to start loving myself. I had to start doing my own self-care because I was leaving myself behind. Like I said, definitely some people will think that's selfish. It depends on how they're raised and depends on what kind of things they actually learn while they live this life. If you if you, if you you were raised to, of course, care for others and not care for yourself and everybody else came, <clears throat> came first before you and you never branch out to even learn anything different, then you're going to feel like it's selfish when you start taking care of yourself and using your time for yourself. The only way to step out of that, because that's what I did, I had to just start saying the word no. Some folks did not like that. Some folks, yes, they called me selfish. I really didn't care at that point because I had ran myself down to the ground so bad, depressed at times, using all my money for car gas. One, they wouldn't give me gas. All, all, just all this craziness. And I'm running myself into the ground. I wasn't able to take care of myself because I'm getting home 9, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock in the morning, all this kind of stuff. We're driving somebody to the store, taking care of somebody else instead of taking care of myself. Like I said, I had to learn those things. I thought it was selfish as well because I saw other folks growing up, uh, taking care of everybody else, not themselves, while they drug themselves into the ground as well. I saw that. I saw that many a times. And like I said, I had to make a decision within my mind that I was not going to live like that, just being drug into the ground and, and buried into the dirt, taking care of everybody else when I couldn't take care of myself. So like I said, I had to make that decision to, of course, start looking for other alternatives. I had to make that decision, like I said, to start doing my own self-care, whether that was just walking outside at the park or just saying no was my self-care actually in the beginning, just to learn how to do that and be okay with that. Yes, it took a long, we ain't going to say a long time, but yes, it took, I don't know how, how many years of that kind of thing, but it did take a while for me to get used to that saying no and not feeling bad about it. Like I said, that's how I look at it, I guess I put it that way. So you're not selfish for taking care of yourself. You're supposed to take care of yourself.